All right, we're still talking UEFA Champions League on this Tuesday edition of the Sports Max. So, and the excitement of the quarterfinal round is just getting started after the action we saw earlier today. And it will continue on Wednesday when French side PSG plays host to Barcelona, while Borussia Dortmund travel to Spain to take on Atletico Madrid. So Juan Giarango has made himself comfortable now and he's still with us to preview these games. So, Juan, are you there? Okay, good. Just check in. Let's, let's start and with... And you said it was comfortable. Yeah, my producer told me that you'd be comfortable by now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's start with the Barcelona fixture. And what are we to expect? The storylines heading into this one. Uh, uh, Atle Atleti Dortmund, right? You said? Barcelona. Oh, Barca. Oh, okay. Uh, everything is to be expected. I mean, imagine... When Luis Enrique is asked, which coach was better for Barcelona, you or Xavi, he immediately goes, me. And then that, of course, didn't rub very well the, you know, it, it didn't rub very well or in the right way, the Barcelona faithful and, of course, many on the Barcelona board. But uh, when, when you look at what Luis Enrique was able to do there compared to what Xavi's done, it's eons and, and light years away from one another. Uh, again, what, what Luis Enrique has been able to do is kind of deflect a bit of the pressure on Kylian Mbappé and the rest of PSG and, and kind of take all the bullets you will uh, on him. He's the one that's that's really trying to deflect everything from the team so they can perform at the best level possible. Now, will it be enough against one of the teams that if you want to start talking about in terms of form, if there's a team that has improved over the last month and a half, it has been Barcelona. They have been able to do a great deal in, in a very short period of time to not only improve their collective form, we saw what they were able to do in Napoli, but also seeing what they've done in La Liga over the past couple of weeks. It's a team that... I don't know if they're on a mission to see if they can get to London and possibly play Real Madrid in a Clasico final, but they're trying to end the season the best way possible and maybe contend for a Champions League final. That is true. So we will end up seeing how that ends up playing out against PSG because it ends up being much different competition than we saw from Napoli. Yeah, and speaking about PSG, Kylian Mbappe will have to be discussed, of course. What do you think his motivation will be like? Well, he wants to win. He wants to win a Champions League first and foremost. He wants to show everyone that when he does indeed, if it's true what they're saying, that he's going to be donning the white of Real Madrid, showing that he is worthy of donning the white of Real Madrid. And not only that, leaving PSG is not only the all-time leading goal scorer, but that player that put them over the top. Many have tried to establish him as that. Can he do it? Well, it's not only just him. It's also the return of Ousmane Dembele, who left Barcelona and maybe not the best of circumstances and now is tearing it up alongside Mbappé over a PSG. The coaching dynamics here, Juan, because um, Luis Enrique played alongside Xavi at Barcelona and mm. coached him as well. I think the very last season Xavi played at Barca, um, Luis mm -hmm. Enrique was, was the coach. Uh, is there anything to read into that? No, not really. I, 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 I think it's more Luis Enrique just, just being Luis Enrique in terms of, of being abrasive with the media. He, that, that's what he's been able to do throughout his career as a player and especially as a coach. And, and, and he also has a bit of blood on his, on his eye knowing exactly how things played out with the Spanish national team. So let, let, we have to keep that in mind when we start looking at, at everything that, 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 that has happened with, with Luis Enrique and with everything else that is that has really evolved through him, especially at PSG when he's been questioned so much. And now it's his opportunity for him to consolidate himself as the coach, as the authority, not just as another puppet under Kylian Mbappe. Yeah, and just before we move on to the second game one, um, a spectacle for this fixture because of the two powerhouse attacking players involved on opposite sides, both at different stages of their career, Mbappe um, rising and Lewandowski who, um, well, only Messi and Ronaldo have scored more goals in Champions League football than Lewandowski has, uh, but he's toward the back end of his career and Mbappe is, is rising as a, as a spectacle uh, to really big names looking for goals uh, for different teams in this fixture. Yeah, it's interesting. And, and not only that, two, two players that have really ha had a... I guess countering and contrasting situations. Still Lewandowski, the jury's out with him at Barcelona, although he's come later in his career. Many are still questioning whether he is that acquisition that was going to come in and make a difference. He's contributed, he's been a Pichichi before with Barcelona, but 
you still don't have that sensation that he's quite there in terms of Barcelona fans, Barcelona press, Barcelona board backing him so much so there's been rumors of him leaving during the summer, maybe to Major League Soccer, maybe to Saudi Arabia, just like you hear anyone that's 32 and up. But Mbappe on the other end, of course, many kind of feeling bad that he's leaving, maybe kind of feeling a, a bit left out if you're a PSG fan that, that Mbappe decides to leave, that doesn't want to come back to a project that at times seems very shallow, at times seems very aggressive from a financial standpoint, but then from a substance standpoint, it ends up leaving you much to be desired. Mm -hmm. Atleti, Borussia Dortmund, um, we saw a, a, a German side uh, standing tall today, even though they were underdogs. Uh, does Borussia have it in them to stop Atleti? Who are the favorites for this one? Well, Diego Simeone was asked about that today, and he said, we have to be extremely intense. We have to have everybody at their best edition, especially we need to have the best version of, of Antoine Griezmann coming into this match because without him, uh, Atleti ends up being a very different team. And he also was very insistent on the pressure and the intensity of Borussia Dortmund, especially trying to press them in the middle. How are they going to counter that? That's going to be the big question mark that's going to be on display at, at the Civitas Metropolitano tomorrow. Yeah, and um, we have seen players switching teams and uh, a case of that happening in, in this fixture here with uh, mm -hmm. Dortmund man Witzel uh, now with Atleti after playing so many years of his football with uh, uh -huh. Borussia Dortmund. Yeah, you know what? It's interesting that he had a comment the other day and said, I'm thankful uh, to Cholo Simeone that uh, he had his career and in his, these are his words. He said, my career revived under Simeone after his time over at Borussia Dortmund. And let's not forget, there's another player that's seen his career kind of revived as well, but over at Dortmund in, in the case of Jaden Sancho. Oh, yes, that's for sure. But that, that fixture is going to be, I guess, of, of all the quarterfinals, it is the least attractive. But, you know, sometimes in football, you don't need an attractive buildup for a match to be be a humdinger and i think this one has the has the makings of a very tight um intricate game yeah if you want to use a, 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 a an mma term this is probably the more ground and pound type of encounter that we're going to be facing because if you want to start talking about humdingers but we already had two that's that's a pretty high <laughs> bar to to start uh, trying to 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 overcome or try and and and, and, and uh, be better than and, and it, there's a potential for that as well, but to me, the physicality, the intensity of it, they might end up doing one of two things. It could be a humding, or probably, and I hope, hope it, it is, or it ends up being a very dull, drab, scoreless draw where they both end up neutralizing themselves or countering and pressuring each other back and forth that they end up neutralizing whatever they can do. Yeah, well, Juan, we look forward to those fixtures tomorrow. As you said, uh, we got a tremendous start to the quarterfinals today. And we look forward to see what happens in Wednesday's fixtures. Thanks, man. All right, take care. Bye-bye. Yeah, talk again soon. Back with more on the Sportsmax Zone after this.